Receive the joy of your glory, giving thanks to God, who has called you into the heavenly kingdom. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brother, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of bread and to the prayers. All came upon everyone and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to one's need. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple area and to breaking bread in their homes. They eat their meals with exultation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. And every day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior the joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love is everlasting. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by the power of God are safeguarded through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time, 
In this you rejoice, although now for a little while you may have to suffer through various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that is perishable, even though tested by fire, may prove to be for praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, yet believe in him. You rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are they who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, and see my hands, and bring your hand, and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This Gospel always surprises me. It's one thing I usually take away whenever I think about it or meditate upon it. The mercy of Jesus. Appropriate for us to think about because it is divine mercy uh, Sunday, tomorrow, and we're celebrating the vigil tonight. What is so merciful about Jesus in this evening's gospel? Well, remember what happened. He died and rose from the dead, and is seeing the disciples gathered together. You would think, in our human terms, he might say, where were you guys when I was being crucified? Was there only John who would stay by my side? and the faithful women, where were all of you? But he didn't say that. He could have said many, many things to criticize or to condemn, but he didn't. In fact, even before they had a chance to speak, he said, peace be with you. He already forgave them for betraying him. And he came to give them a gift, two gifts, actually, peace, which he brought with him, because he came to them in a very dark hour at their in, their, in their time there. They were terrified, they were fear, fearful of the Jews, locked inside a room instead of spreading the gospel. So he brought them peace, which they needed, and he gave them the special capacity to forgive sins, 
in the sacrament of confession. This is the origin of the sacrament of confession, right here. To our human minds, this makes no sense or little sense. To those who betrayed him, Jesus gave more gifts. He gave unmerited and undeserved mercy and a mission to spread the gospel to every creature. How beautiful that is that Jesus would do that. That's not how we operate, but it's how God operates. And it's wonderful. Today we recall what the mercy of Jesus is all about. We brought with us today a special picture of the divine mercy. As you know, when you look at that picture, you see Jesus not with hands bent to condemn, but with the hand to bless. He is blessing us with his right hand. He wants to give to sinners. He doesn't want to condemn them. He wants to give mercy, give his blessing. And from his side come the two rays of water and blood, water signifying baptism, blood signifying the Holy Eucharist. Again, giving his very life to us. And underneath that, you see in Polish, Jesu ufam tobie, which means, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. That is a response to mercy. Not to be afraid of Jesus. The disciples didn't run from Jesus when he came to bring them peace and mercy. They rejoiced, and they stayed in his presence. There's no need for us to be afraid of Jesus for any reason. He comes to bring us peace and mercy in our lives. And I wanted to share with you a special little story from my own life. As many of you know, um, Jesus has been very merciful to me. I was involved in a uh, scooter accident this past summer. And what happened was I had broken these four fingers. So I want to show you in person, this is an act of mercy that I could use my hand. Jesus was merciful to me. I also broke my jaw my mouth, my teeth. Um, it's a true act of mercy that I can preach to you today. It's not perfect, it still needs more fixing, but, and I may sound a little funny sometimes the way I speak, but I'm happy to be alive. Jesus in his mercy saved my life. And every day that I wake up, it's like a bonus for me. It's like a day that I would have never had had I died in that scooter accident. When I think about it, it's incomprehensible, the mercy that he showed me. It's kind of like the mercy he showed his apostles, you know? Imperfect people, like myself. And yet, in spite of it all, giving them a mission to do, continuing to call them by name. And the same with me. It's due to the mercy of Jesus that I'm preaching to you today. It's an act of love that he preserved my life and I'm able to offer this Mass. So this weekend, tonight and tomorrow, we celebrate how merciful and loving Jesus is to us. And I'm sure in your own lives, if you were to reflect upon how merciful the Lord has been to you and all the times he saved you from things and forgiven you your sins, if you were to write it out, it would, you couldn't have enough paper to put it on, just like I couldn't have enough. And that's something for us to remember and to treasure. Never being afraid to approach the Lord, but always to trust in him. And I close with that. He wants one thing from us, our heart, and he wants our trust. We should never mistrust the Lord when we fall to run to him, to run to the sacrament of confession, not to be afraid because he always has open arms to receive us, a hand outstretched to bless us, not to condemn us. So don't be afraid of the Lord, even though you may have fallen. Come back to the Lord. Give him all your heart. He's waiting, not to condemn you or I, but to receive us, to forgive us, to embrace us, and to continue to call us and to give us important work for him, to do for him he continues to call us to fulfill our vocation in life. Even though we may have fallen and messed up many times, 
Our work is important. Every day, every moment we live is important. It has value and meaning. Even in this time where every day seems like it's the same day over and over, it's important. There's something for us to learn. Our prayers make a difference. They're going to make a difference to somebody who needs conversion. If you and I offer our prayers for the conversion and salvation of souls, we're going to find out one day how many people were saved and converted through the intercession of our prayers. All of this has meaning. So the message tonight is be happy. The Lord loves you. He embraces you. He wants to give you all the mercy in his heart. Open your heart to receive that mercy. And you'll bring a smile to his face. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now we offer to God, our loving Father, all of our prayers and petitions. We pray for all members of the church throughout the world today, for peace in our hearts, for encouragement, Rather than discouragement in this time of trial, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own salvation and that of all people of our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all elected uh, political leaders and officials, those governing us and throughout the world, for wisdom and prudence as they deal with the coronavirus crisis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our hear our prayer. Also for all members of our parish here at the cathedral, uh, for safety and protection for us during this uh, time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And also for all those who are suffering at this time, and uh, we also we remember the homeless in a special way today for proper food and housing and uh, medical care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally this evening, we offer special prayers for Rocco Armento, for whom this Mass is being offered we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Mighty God, we thank you for listening to our prayers, and we ask you to grant them all according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brother, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Up your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this 
is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Bring your hand and feel the place of the nails, and do not be unbelieving, but believing. Alleluia. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a couple of announcements. Um, we'll have our usual Masses tomorrow morning, 8.30 in English and 10 o'clock in Spanish on our Facebook channel. And uh, also at 3 o'clock, we're going to have a Divine Mercy service, a bilingual Divine Mercy service with a chaplet of mercy and some preaching. So. I hope you'll be able to join us and um, we'll pray together to receive the, the indulgence, okay? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia.